After accidentally finding this ski resort and stopping off to have our lunch, we decided that it was probably best that we try and find some snow. We haven't seen any yet, apart from this small amount around us that is actually frozen solid and you can't really play in it. So it's time to move on, get across to Austria and see if we can find some deep snow. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Quick, don't forget Corgi. Right, we just stopped at this little bison back, I think it's called, the station. And uh, yeah, there was a few things rattling around in the back of the van, so I pulled in. And as we pulled in, the, uh, here it comes. It's coming past now. Ah, oh, it's a new one. I thought it might have been an old one. Seven things? Oh, things? Yeah. Seven things? Yeah, things. Thingies? Cause I Different to our 
sound of your vehicle might hit the side of the house, that sign says. Crazy, isn't it? Is that actually the real yeah. And the cereal, the muesli, eight ninety-five. Really ten. It's almost the same price as the UK money. Crazy. 
crazy. Six cans. Sixteen. Even the chips are like nearly nine pounds for McCain chips. Pizza's seven pounds. Chicken nuggets, ten pounds. Well, we've left Grindelwald. There is nowhere to park at all. I did see that on park for night before we went there, but I started going to check it out anyway. I mean, it's worth it's worth looking at anyway because it is beautiful, really beautiful. Um, but yeah, there's there's the odd sort of um, space like that at the side of the road where you can park, but. Everything that's on park for night has got responses on there. People say get beeped all night. Um, somebody said they had the van rocked in the middle of the night by somebody. If you're not welcome, there's no point trying to risk it. You're just gonna give yourself a bad night's sleep. So I have looked further down the road uh, into Laken. I think that's how you pronounce it. Exactly the same. I've looked on the mountains on the other side. Exactly the same. It's clearly an area that has a lot of money and doesn't appreciate people who are, I don't know how to put it into words, not spending an absolute fortune. Um, I get it, you know, I get it. It's a resort, everything's expensive there. They want people to come and stay in the expensive things and, you know, those sorts of places attract certain sorts of people um, and I'm not that sort of person so it's not for me. We went into the supermarket, the price of food in there is just ridiculous, you know. It's not somewhere that's sustainable that you could stay and be, especially when you can just travel, you know, 20-30 minutes down the road and everything's half the price. So. Yeah, it's worth going up to have a look at. We had a nice look at the mountains and stuff. Um, but there's plenty more mountains to look at. It's just not worth, uh, it's not worth risking having a bad night's sleep. Although we could hide. <laughs> we could go up into a forest and hide, but nobody, probably nobody would even notice we were there. But if you're not welcome, don't risk it. Just don't do it. It's not worth upsetting local people. They don't want you here they want you on the campsites, go on a campsite, go and stay on the campsite, pay your 40, 50 pounds or whatever it is to stay there. I'm just gonna find a lay-by to pull into. Like the one that we stayed at last night, because that was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. See if we can find another one of those. Yeah, if we could find one similar, it would be nice. I'm quite fed up of driving now, I just want to find somewhere and stop. I'm getting hungry.
into this park up, but unfortunately there's only two, well, there's three spaces and there's two motorhomes, massive motorhomes parked there. One of them's got like pulling the trailer um, and the only place to park is in between both of them. So we'll be sandwiched between two big motorhomes, um, which we don't quite fancy, do we? But it's free and it's in this lovely little village. But I had a quick look on Park for Night and I went on to like 4.75 stars or above and somewhere up over that hill is a mountain village um, with a parking place by Kids Park. Which you've been waiting for for ages, haven't you? For about a year, a million years now. I'm only nine now, not a million. Right, that's where we're going. Scooter lessons to me. Oh, look at this place. I'm going to drive on the slide right now. No, I'm going on that hobby. This thing's a cow poo around there. Six hours, one minute, average 30.3 miles to the gallon. Now, to put that into perspective, we have been over several mountain passes, like that and backwards and forwards and round and round and all over the place. Yeah. See you then. <laughs> She's off. Just gonna go and plan the park. Yeah, so uh, we're up a mountain with all these traditional buildings. Very good. Really happy with that. I'd like to get the drone up, but don't know. It's probably probably not the best place to fly the drone, not in this little tiny village. So this is where we parked. Beautiful. See, this is a problem with this air fryer. It's just not big enough. So it's fine. It is what it is. All right, let's turn it on. 10 minutes. 
stick it on full blast for the pizza because it doesn't take long. This is an amazing little place. I'm glad we moved. Sometimes you just sort of have to take the risk. We could have stayed where we were. There was nothing wrong with where we were. Um, it was a, a place that you're allowed to park. Here, there's no restrictions. Um, and there's lots of feedback from people who've stayed here overnight saying it's a good place, the locals come and speak to you, etc. So I'll be closing my door. Mika's already enjoying herself. Those Russian kids are coming back over now, so hopefully she'll play with these kids. Actually, the likelihood is they're probably from Ukraine, not Russia. But they speak Russian. See, when Amika used to come, when Amika came to live with me, she was fluent Russian. So when she was five, when she came to live with me, she was about five and a half years old. Um, she didn't speak any English at all, apart from hello. And that was about it. Now she doesn't speak any Russian, which is a real shame. Well, she does, she speaks a little bit, but she certainly can't have a conversation with anybody. I do though think that if she started Russian, uh, either Russian lessons or was just immersed in it for a few weeks, I think she'd, she'd start to remember it. She'd pick it all back up quite quickly. Right, so we get this uh, food sorted out, feed this kid. I've also got some nice bread as well. I already pinched a bit, but uh, yeah, you won't believe the prices of this. So this bread was about three quid for five rolls. And then this pizza, which obviously you can buy in England. I don't know how much these are in England. I'm sure they sell them in Aldi. Um, Dr. O Oatka, I don't know how you say that. Um, but yeah, that was like 7.90 or something ridiculous. Um, and there's not, there's not a lot, of, <laughs> that church is gonna go all night. There's not a lot of difference in, um, in price between Czech francs and um, English money. Right, so that is now on about 150 degrees. It does not take long to warm up at all. So the good thing is once it warms up, obviously that's pulling power now, but once it's once it warmed up, it stops, cuts off and just stays warm for a bit. So it doesn't constantly use energy. I think, I think there's uh, quite a lot of Ukrainians here. When we came in, when we drove in, I reckon all those all those kids are from Ukraine because they didn't look uh, German or Swiss or anything like that. They all like they're from Ukraine, Russian. Have they all got them? all their ones on the scooter? So there's two girls over there that are clearly from Ukraine, and Amika is too shy to go and speak to them. Can you? Yeah. Why? All you need to do is just say, hello, do you speak English? That's it. No, because they might not understand English. Then you say it in Russian. I don't know how to say it in Russian. Divyat, kakdela, tiznaish pongliski. No. Tiznaish pongliski? No. Yeah? No. Right, well, I can go speak to them, and I yes. can say in Russian, Izvinitia, Moya Diabichka, Anna Hodit Klatik Bemestia Samnoi. How's that for a memory? Obviously, that's not true Russian, but it's near enough. It says, Excuse me, my little girl wants to play with together with you. But Mind she's English. Point. Can you say, but she's English as well? Anna uh, Ongliski. Okay, good. I can't, I'm cooking. Ah. There isn't even any pineapple. Is it not? Is it just got ham pizza? Mm. Mm. The only reason why I bought it was because of the pineapple. My favourite bit. What?